Thanksgiving, Christmas or maybe in the middle of the summer. Duck breast you can eat all year long and if you don't know how to make it, I can show you. I'm Victoria, welcome to my kitchen. Duck breast, a beautiful dish everyone likes to order of a menu, but it's so hard to nail it. Getting that crispy skin, a perfect pink inside, combined with an intense sweet and sour sauce, fresh baby spinach and the most amazing caramel and zeist endive. I'm going to show you how to cook the beautiful duck breast perfectly, always. And that's the key to it, the fat. It protects the duck breast, gives the taste and renders down to a crispy skin. First off, trim up the duck breast if you have any excess bits of tissue. Just get the fat in line with the actual meat. Next, with a razor sharp knife score the fat. Just slide the knife through without pressure. You don't want to go too deep, otherwise you burst the flesh. Turn the duck over and do the same thing to create a template. The seasoning of our breast we keep very simple, with just salt and pepper. Remember, always season both sides. Now that our duck is prepared, all what's left to do is to put it right to the vacuum bag. I am adding a bit of thyme for some extra flavor. Switch on your vacuum sealer and you're ready for the water bath. Again, the sous vide method is just superior against all other ways to cook duck breast. The result will come out always perfect, more tender and you'll be much more relaxed cooking for your loved ones. Now our duck is in the water bath. You have plenty of time to prepare your sides. Our sauce will be the highlight of the dish and we start off by caramelizing 3 tablespoons of honey in a non-stick pan. Bring it to the stage and add your red wine vinegar to balance the sweetness and reduce it down to a syrupy consistency. Next, add the chicken stock and bring it back up to a boil. Remember, it's a glaze, not a sauce, so it's quick and goes perfect with our beautiful duck. Let the chicken stock evaporate completely. Now when you're on the stage, time for soy sauce. Soy sauce gives it that saltiness we are looking for. Now reduce that down again for 30 seconds and our sauce is ready. Red endive, an amazing bittersweet garnish for our duck breast. Start off by trimming the stalks, but make sure to keep it whole. We don't want it to fall apart. Now just cut them in the half so we can start to season them before pan roasting. As the endives are a little bit bitter, we are going to treat them with the powdered sugar to get them a little bit sweeter. Now that's a really important step here, because the powdered sugar and the salt extract the bitterness out of the endive. Finally, we are going to lift that endive to a different level. Just drizzle a little bit of aged balsamic vinegar over, which gives us that sweet sour touch we want, and just finish it up with some orange zest. Now add the touch of olive oil to your pan. Finally time to roast our endives. It's important to get your pan really hot and put them in open side down to kind of caramelize them. Leave them in for not more than 30 seconds. Now carefully turn them over and reduce the heat down to medium. Keep in your mind that they are really delicate, so flip them over using your spoon. Now give them another light coating of sugar to help them caramelize even more. Now, orange juice, three tablespoons. We wanna braise them in there till the orange juice is completely evaporated. Once the orange juice is gone from the pan, add a little bit of your stock. The stock delivers even more richness and the endive can kind of marinate in there. Now you can set it aside. Alright, it's time to complete our dish with the star of the show. 
The duck is cooked to a perfect 57.2 degrees Celsius and goes out of the bag. It's beautiful tender and now we need to make sure to pat it dry to get a golden brown seal on it. Now the cool thing is you could put it right now to the fridge and sear it tomorrow. It would be just as good. So you see, with this method you can prepare a lot in advance and complete your dish stress-free in front of your guests. Now just a tiny touch of olive oil and in goes the duck. We are on medium heat and that's the difference with the duck breast. Its thick fat layer protects the duck from overcooking. At the same time we want the fat to render down and turn into a beautiful crust. To flavor things up, garlic and again some thyme. You can hear the gentle sizzling, that's the sound you want to hear. Now turn the duck for literally 10 seconds. We don't want to cook it anymore on the flesh. We just want to get a little roast aroma on it. So flip it back over and brush the thyme and all of the duck fat that already rendered down. If you could only smell that! Let it crisp up for 2 minutes more and check your skin. Now that's what I call crispy. Brush your duck one more time in the fat and let it rest for 3 to 5 minutes. That's just enough time to finish our dish. In the same pan, salt, generous. Add the baby spinach and after the shallots. That prevents them from burning. Never cook spinach more than literally 30 seconds. We want to keep the flavor and the texture intact. There is nothing worse than salty spinach. I'm cooking the spinach in the real time so you can see what's really going on. As soon as it starts to break down off the heat. And go plating! Look at that endive! Take the juices with you and sit the endive like a crown on top of the plate. Spinach next. Just let it sit in the center. It will be the bed of our star. The duck. Well rested. Now when you slice duck, you don't want to cut it 10 times. Four nice pieces gives you the right experience eating it. Can you hear that crispy skin? Now turn the duck around, it's beautiful pink. Take it and let it sit high on our bed of spinach. And now the shiny beautiful glaze around the plate lifts the dish to another level. Finally, just a touch of orange zest onto our beautiful duck. Sous vide duck breast with roasted endives, the most amazing sweet and sour glaze and baby spinach. Compared to any other method of cooking duck breast, this one is not just the simplest, but it's also working each time. You get perfectly tender results and all of that is stress-free. I hope I could inspire you to try something new. And if you enjoyed this video, there are many more to come. So make sure to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up and I hope we see us in the next one.